Good morning. I am getting ready for the day. It's 10.49 a.m. I thought I would talk to you guys while doing my morning skincare. I thought I would update you guys a little bit on my skincare as well. For the toner, I used the Troy Ork Skin Complex Formula Toner. This comes with different amples that you mix with the toner for different purposes. I think the red one is better for firming the skin. Okay, anyways. Kind of bloated this morning because I had some chicken breast with hot sauce before I went to sleep. Not hot sauce, chili sauce. And I literally do this five times. And one last time. I was taught by my esthetician to do it this way because my skin is very dry. So when your skin is dry, you need more moisture, right? And what is moisture? It's water. It's liquid. So she told me instead of applying a richer cream at the end of the skincare step, she just said to apply this toner five times. And yeah, seriously, after I started doing this, I could notice my skin being less dry and it just stays moisturized throughout the entire day. That was just a toner. And after, I'll apply the Asin Recovery Cream. And when I apply this step, I use my eye sticks. It helps me de-bloat and it helps to also firm my face. And after I started using these eye sticks, I have been breaking out less. I feel like my skin's being lifted. So I keep this in the fridge and every time I apply the recovery cream, I use this. I love it. Try to lift it up. Also, these wrinkles next to my nose. I'm very extra with my skincare routine and it takes super long, but Hey, you gotta invest the time if you want nice skin. When I'm in a rush though, I'll use a completely different skincare line. These days, every morning and night, I've been doing this. I just love the feeling of this cool ice stick on my face. And then after, I use my essence. And for the last step, at night, I usually finish with this SOS sleeping mask, but since it's the daytime, the Joan Day Neogen Vita Duo Day Cream. I like to massage below my ear where the lymph node is. Okay, and the final, final step is sun cream. I'm using this one from Dr. Jar every day, every Sunday. Don't forget your neck! So my skincare routine takes like anywhere from 5 minutes to 7 minutes. I changed into this pink Supreme shirt that I got in New York 2 years ago. I realized I do have a lot more pink than I thought in my closet. I know I was like, I only have two pink things. When I met up with Joan, but I, I actually have a lot of pink stuff. Anyway, so I was saying in the last vlog about me kind of being anxious about filming the wine spill, which is uploaded now, by the way. It, it went better than I expected. And I thought back on my 20s, and I realized that the time I felt most fulfilled and like filled with joy was during my trainee days. And I really think it's because I was, one, learning a lot of different things and two, I was running after a goal. Like I had a clear goal that I set for myself, which was to debut. My trainee schedule was intense. We would have to train every day from 1 to 10 p.m. And because all the other trainees were a lot younger than me, they would go to school and come to the office around like four or five but me since i was older and i didn't 
go to school at the time I would like wake up at 9 go to the gym at 10 and go to a piano lesson before I went to the office at 1 the piano lesson wasn't even something that was required but my mom told me to do it because she thought it would be an advantage if I took piano lessons which I'm grateful for it did help a lot our weekly schedule we would learn different subjects like language class for me I took Japanese we also had vocal classes dance uh, acting physical education and learning about the Korean culture as well so I was not only learning things that I was interested in unlike school where you had to take different subjects that you hate uh, I was also learning about Korea and the Korean culture because it was my first time back in 11 years and although it was a crazy hectic schedule I think I really enjoyed learning all of that of course my trainee days were tough too because people were always getting cut and you didn't know if you were next so you have to always do your best and give your 100% or else you might get sent home and that was not an option for me even though I'm more spontaneous I think I did find comfort in having like a fixed schedule knowing what my day was going to look like whereas now my day is just random I have to basically plan my own day out and if you're not disciplined it's hard to do that for the last two years I've just been like working 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 and not putting any time aside for like hobbies or learning something new I feel like you should never stop learning no matter how old you are and I just realized that I haven't been doing that it may not be much but I think I was really happy working at my friend's cafe because I was learning things hands-on and it was my first time trying to be a barista and I felt so happy doing that so I decided that I'm gonna dedicate some time every week to my hobbies or learning something new there are so many things I want to learn I want to pick up Japanese again and I would like to take cooking classes and I would like to take photography classes etc I think the only hobby right now that I have is like working out at the gym but that's not really a hobby I feel like I'm doing it more to be healthy so I want to find something else that'll keep my mind off of like work 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 and something that I can do hands on because I don't think I can really do online classes it's just not for me I respect everyone who had to take classes online during COVID I don't know how you guys did it like y'all are amazing so I signed up for my first ceramics class I really wanted to try wheel, wheel throwing I love watching time-lapse videos of people wheel throwing and seeing the clay turn into like a vase or a bowl I know it's super hard it's very intimidating but I would like to try I just love the feeling you get after you try something new you know what I mean? whether you're not good at it or whether you are good at it you're like challenging yourself it's a one-on-one -on -one class so I'm hoping the teacher is nice let's go to my first wheel throwing class <笑>ね、ちょっと待ってしまいました。ね、で、わざよ。本当に絶対やってたんだけど。そうよ。超ね、ロケ、モルチバシ。ここにパンパンパンパンパンパンパンパンパンパンパンパンパンパンパンパン
아저씨 스트로크 <웃음> 이렇게 발라는 게 맞나요? 네한 방향으로 That was so much fun. The class is supposed to be one hour, but and it ended up being like almost two. The wheel throwing was so mesmerizing. Seeing the clay move and seeing like the rings form, so cool. I'll definitely be going back. I want to make like an incense holder. As you saw, I failed so epically the first time. It takes a great deal of concentration, a whole lot of concentration. Happy Saturday! It's finally the weekend. Do you see how much baby hair I have? Look at all that baby hair. Why is it like that? I mean, I guess it's a good thing. My hair is growing. Well, I am going to meet up with Sojung and Juni in a little bit because we're gonna celebrate my 30th birthday together. It's not my birthday for another three days, but it's the weekend before, so gotta celebrate now. Thankfully, our schedules matched up. It is quite hard to meet all three of us sometimes because our schedules are so like different from each other's. But it worked out. I'm going to use Fenty Beauty's Hydrating Loungewear Foundation today because I want my makeup look to look dewy. I'm just gonna apply very little. Mm, it smells so good. It smells like vanilla. I really wanted to ring in the 30th with Jinny and Sojang because I spent the majority of my 20s with them. I mean, I saw them every single day for seven and a half years. How many people can say that about somebody? I mean, sometimes you don't even see your family straight for seven and a half years. I just think it'll be meaningful to celebrate my 30th year with them because, you know, they've seen me become who I am. <laughs> I'm very grateful that we still have this relationship even though our contracts ended and we're not very active anymore this is what i'm wearing out today it's like a fuzzy wool tank top and cardigan set if you look closely it's like blue and green and white and i really want to wear like blue eyeshadow to match with this but do you think it's gonna be too much well i don't even know if i have blue eyeshadow first of all oh yes i have this long comb palette Ooh, this can either look okay or super tacky like I just stepped out of a time machine if you do it It's like a lot brighter than my cardigan though Whatever if it looks bad. I can just erase it Okay, here it goes ah! Oh my god Do I like it? Oh, I can barely see. Do it a little more. Okay, it's not bad. Oh, I'm kind of feeling it. Okay. All right. Okay, this is... It's a look. Let me tighten my waterline. I've been using this lip mask from Then I Met You. It's very glossy. I just go to sleep with this on at night and I wipe it off with a wet wipe in the morning okay i'm just gonna do like a thin eyeliner very subtle yes the mascara i'm still using namings i'm gonna use this charlotte tilbury's beauty light wand i think it's supposed to be like a highlighter slash blush i love the glow that this gives you Ugh, this is perfect for the summertime when the sun hits that cheekbone Mm. 
Okay, I'm not gonna draw my eyebrows, but I'm gonna use this brow shaper to make sure it doesn't fall out of place and it stays like this the whole night. I like to emphasize my beauty mark. Then just a tiny bit. Finish off with Urban Decay's setting spray. calm my baby hair down a little too. I have this hair cream from Sisley, but I'm gonna use very little. Okay, I'm done. I'm gonna take my camcorder today. Let's go! She's so jumpy Oh, I'm so tired. 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 fun with Cho Jung and Junie last night. We ended up staying at that same spot for eight hours. Today I'm going to see the foliage and also meet up with Jisoo at night. I'm so excited to see the foliage. I think this is peak right now. The timing is perfect. This place is called Chaha Sonmandu. 
Definitely recommend. Now I'm gonna go meet Chizu and her husband in Yongsan. Let's go. Before I end the vlog, I wanted to sit down and talk to you guys a little bit. I know you saw a lot of clips, but I feel like they were all just like montages. On the actual day of my birthday, I stayed home all morning and all afternoon watching my name on Netflix and ordering maratang and just enjoying myself. And in the evening, I went to radio where I was surprised by my Sound K staff our listeners and also my mom and my brother and my uncle who left me a surprise voice note which ended up making me ball like a little baby i love you and i'll see you soon bye happy birthday Esri. 사랑하는 우리 딸 생일 축하해 um so i felt very very blessed and grateful for all of that and i just wanted to yeah that's what i wanted to say they just spoiled me like a princess that day but i loved every single moment of it okay i'll stop bragging about my birthday anyways thank you guys for wishing me a happy birthday as well and just remember that it's not too late to start something new it's not too late to start learning something so if there's anything that you wanted to try but have been holding back this is your sign to go for it it's never too late Thank you so much for watching this episode and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye! I'm 30!